Dr. Stephen Strange first popped up in the panels of Marvel Comics back in 1963 in Strange Tales issue 110, created by Steve Ditko and Stan Lee with the intention of bringing a different kind of character into the company's roster of superheroes. And just like many of his peers in the Marvel Universe, Strange has had plenty of various alternates that have popped up in the pages of comics that explore the multiverse. So today we are taking a look at some of them with our list of the top 10 alternate versions of Doctor Strange. And at number 10, Zombie Strange from Earth 2149. The Zombieverse is one of the more wild alternate realities in the Marvel Universe. It asks the simple question, what if there was a zombie apocalypse in the Marvel Universe? Well, this version of Doctor Strange ends up becoming a zombie on Earth 2149, despite being the one superhero who has likely fought the most supernatural foes in his time. He still suffered the same fate as many other heroes did in this universe thanks to the plague's outbreak. But at least he managed to do some good before becoming undead. He destroyed a dimensional doorway that could have allowed the zombies to travel to other realities. Now, despite being a zombie, he can still access his powers and even uses them to look into alternate realities for more victims. Fun. <laughs> Like Uber Eats, but without the delivery, maybe. And at number nine, Earth X, aka Earth 9997. In 1999, Earth X was published as a limited series, exploring a dystopian version of the Marvel Universe in which many of the population had become mutated. Doctor Strange is searching for a cure and has magically made his hands appear normal due to his vanity. Strange in this universe was killed in his astral form by Clea, who in the Earth 616 universe is the Sorcerer Supreme of the Dark Dimension and also one of his love interests. She had fallen in love with Loki due to her and Strange's relationship being. Being under strain. Strange's body, which is still kicking around, is looked after by Wong, all while his now dead astral form guides the original Captain Marvel through Death's realm. Keeping his body alive was all part of a plan to keep Strange out of Mephisto's way. Marvel would later restore his astral form in order to bring Strange back to life. And at number eight, regular Steven from Earth 70105. Earth 70105 is the home of Bullet Points, a limited series that came out in 2006 and 2007 under the Marvel Knights imprint. Its whole shtick is that it follows the Marvel Universe in a world where Dr. Erskine is killed before Steve Rogers is given the super soldier serum to become Captain America. In this reality, Stephen Strange never becomes Doctor Strange. Instead, the genius level intellect surgeon ends up working for S.H.I.E.L.D. after his accident instead of going to Tibet and seeking out the Ancient One. In exchange for working for S.H.I.E.L.D., they restore his hands, and later he ends up getting claws that resemble those of Wolverines. And at number 7, Pirate Strange from Earth TRN 130. This Doctor Strange lives on an alternate Earth that takes place in the 17th century, or rather, still lives in the manner of the 17th century. Since everyone is a pirate, but there's still certain aspects of modern technology that exist within it. It's one of the realities that Reed Richards discovered when studying alternate realities. Now, not much has changed or deviates in terms of Strange's abilities, and he actually dies in the same issue that he appears in. And at six, A Babies vs. X Babies. A Babies vs. X Babies is a limited series parody of the Avengers vs. X Men story arc. And since it's a parody, you can probably tell that the stakes are a little less high than they are in AVX. On this Earth, Earth 71912, Doctor Strange is one of the Avengers members who Nick Fury summons to fight against the X-Men. The root of the conflict? Well, Cyclops has stolen Captain America's teddy bear, Bucky Bear. Despite being a baby, Doctor Strange has a mustache and a shock of white hair still. There's also some pretty great Doctor Strange variant covers that feature Baby Strange as well. And at 5, the Mongaverse Strange from Earth 2301. This Doctor Strange is part of the Mongaverse, a reality in which all of the Marvel characters are drawn like manga characters. This version of Steven unfortunately didn't play a huge role in the Mongaverse, but has some pretty interesting notable details. For starters, his assistant was Tigra. He's got a shock of spiky white hair at the front of his head rather than on the side. His glasses have some serious manga vibes and he's got a revamped outfit that varies quite a bit from his 616 counterpart. Unfortunately, the reason why we don't see much of him in this reality is because he was vaporized in the new manga verse The Rings of Fate issue 1, 4 years after he first appeared in 2002. And at number 4, Disciple of Dormammu. From What If issue 18 volume 1 from 1979, this version of Strange ends up fighting for the side of evil rather than good. After his accident, he ends up getting his hands healed by Baron Mordo and now Never is trained by the Ancient One. Mordo eventually converts Steven into being one of Dormammu's disciples because of that. But he's still got some good in him. When he finds himself caught between Dormammu and the Ancient One, he ends up choosing the Ancient One's side instead, switching allegiances. In at 3, Venomverse Strange. For those of you unfamiliar with the Venomverse, it may come as a surprise that Doctor Strange played a key role in the story event. Strange on his Earth of TRN 644 is the host of Venom. His Earth is eradicated by the Poisons, a race of aliens who are predators of the Clintar, which is the race that the Venom symbiote is. When his planet is taken out, Strange calls up Venoms from various different Earths in order to fight the Poisons in an attempt to prevent the indignant aliens from consuming more of them and transforming them into part of the Poisons' hive. His plan to wipe out the 
the poisons is successful and he manages to teleport all of the remaining venoms back to their home earths, although his fate is actually unknown. And at number 2, Stephen Strange from Earth 938. This one is technically an alternate of the Sorcerer Supreme, although it isn't really Stephen Strange. Well, Sort of. In 1993, Volume 2 of What If, Issue 52, asks the question, what if Doctor Doom became Sorcerer Supreme? And in it, Doctor Strange still ends up in a car accident that disfigures his hands, and he still seeks out the Ancient One's help, only to come face to face with Victor Von Doom. Doom chops off Strange's hands and replaces them with robotic ones. Strange goes back to his life as a surgeon, and Doom takes his place, learning from the Ancient One, eventually becoming Sorcerer Supreme when the Ancient One dies. Doom is then fatally injured in a battle with Dormammu, so he calls up surgeon Stephen Strange to operate on him. All while covertly using his Doom bots to transfer his brain waves into Steven. So essentially, he's Victor Von Doom in Steven Strange's body, still wearing his Doom armor. This was all to ensure that Doom's successor would be an exact copy of himself, at least mentally, and that he'd be able to continue his legacy for years to come. And Classic Victor Von Doom. And finally, in at number one, Doctor Strange Fate. Hailing from Earth 9602, Doctor Strange Fate is an amalgamation of multiple characters, one's from the Marvel Universe and one from the DC Universe. Initially, from the Marvel vs. DC series, Strange Fate is a product of the Amalgam Universe, amalgamations that were part of the DC Marvel crossover back in the mid 90s that combined DC and Marvel characters into one persona. He's the combination of Doctor Strange, Charles Xavier, and Doctor Fate. He's incredibly powerful in the Amalgam Universe and holds the title of Sorcerer Supreme. So, what exactly can he do? A, a whole lot. Get ready for the laundry list, people. He's got Dr. Fate's abilities, meaning he's an incarnation of Dr. Fate. It's a mantle that's passed along. So he has superhuman strength and durability, telekinesis, and is capable of flight. His sorcery allows for intangibility, transmutation, teleportation, mystic energy bolts, banishment of people or demons to other dimensions, protective shields, time manipulation, dimension traveling, item conjuring, channeling of divine sources, cosmic awareness, hypnotism, levitation, superhuman growth, invisibility, dimensional manipulation, postcognition to view the past, Psychometry to see possible futures of an object, magical detention, superhuman speed, and telepathy. Ah, it's a lot. We're talking Charles Xavier of Earth 616 levels of telepathy, FYI. So, overall, dude is super OP. Plus, he's an expert surgeon and occultist with a genius level intellect and military training. So move on over everybody cause he's just gonna kick all of your butts. All right, there we have it friends. What other versions of Doctor Strange can you think of? Should we do a part two of this list? We know we missed a lot. Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know. If you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button and hey, why not subscribe while you're at it? We'd love it if you hung out with us some more. In the meantime though, thanks for watching friends. I'll catch you on the next video.